Esri Story Maps lets us combine authoritative maps with narrative text, images, and multimedia content. They make it easy to harness the power of maps and geography to tell your story, to inspire and to convince. We can build a compelling story map that allows city officials to communicate with citizen stakeholders to view development proposals and analyze in 3D for things like shadow analysis. Now there are a number of story map templates, each with particular strengths for particular stories. The template you choose depends on what you want to communicate, but you can use the Ask the Pros button to get some suggestions based on the type of story you want to tell and the types of media that you have. We've chosen a story map journal, ideal for combining narrative text with our 3D scene. It consists of a number of sections for stakeholders to scroll through, with a primary viewing area for our 3D scene, and side panels for explanatory text or other media such as images or hyperlinks. We can start by creating a story map and giving a title, tags, and summary. We can add a number of stages, each with its own media or 3D scene, in order to tell our story. The Home section is the face of our story map, and you can choose a map, create a map, or insert videos. We're going to add an existing web scene as our main stage content. We'll paste the URL of our web scene into the window, and then configure the content. Filling the window is best for our scene here, and then we can start configuring the side panel content. Add some text to introduce and describe our story. And then once we hit Add, the Home section of our map journal pops up, and we can see the web scene, complete with 3D object scene layers and point scene layers being streamed. It has all the functionality of our original web scene. Now we can add another section, this time using the web application that we built for the recreation area proposals. Again, we give it a name and configure the main stage content. For the side panel, we can insert some text, telling our stakeholders that we're considering adding some green space to beautify the area and to help with stormwater runoff. Once we've done that, our section pops up and we can see our web application embedded in our story map. Now, as well as sharing information, we'd like to collect some opinions as well. So by editing the side panel, we can add buttons or URLs that stakeholders could click on in order to share their preferences. We're able to edit the HTML code to customize the look of the side panel and better tailor our story so that not only are stakeholders being given information, they are giving us information as well. We can save the story map and have a look to see how it performs. Now, we might want to change the setup of the story map, since our daylight analysis tool seems to be taking up a lot of screen real estate. So, in the settings, we'll change the layout options so that our web app has more space. And now, if we check our story map, we can see that our side panel doesn't take up nearly as much space as it did. Finally, we can share our story map, making it private, available to groups within our organization, or making it public. We've got some URLs to share or embed, and we're ready to tell our story. Our world is 3D, and 3D maps are fast becoming a must-have to improve understanding and communication, both with internal stakeholders and citizen stakeholders. Especially when planning, designing, or managing our cities and communities, 3D GIS data can add enormous value to our organization. Using 3D GIS data within web scenes and story maps makes it easier to understand for non-technical audiences, which leads to better communication and better collaboration.